Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Drake's Toronto mansion. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the curb appeal. This French style is our absolute all-time favorite. If you've got the money, this is the way to go. We love the height of the fences. These are supposedly double the height of a normal fence that they'd let you do in Toronto. They apparently let him do this because he's a big celeb and he needed more privacy. We love the symmetry of the home. We love the stone floors of the foyer. We love these two cause sculptures. And we love that he has matching stuff tables. Drake probably usually has a lot of stuff in his pockets and a home this size, it's easy to lose all that. So dual stuff tables is the way to go. We love this LAH. Long ass hallway. Compared to the rest of the home, the dining room is surprisingly calm and we like that. In the kitchen, we love all the molding. As a Persian, we require maximum molding. We love the Panazzo marble on the island. And we love the La Cornu range. This is the Rolls Royce of ranges. From what I read, this thing costs over $100,000. If a wolf range saw this, its red knobs would melt and cry. It doesn't get much better than this. Let's take a moment to think about all the enchiladas we could bake in this. Mm. Let's proceed. In the main bedroom, we love his bed. This is a custom $400,000 Hastings bed. If you do the math, Drake is 34, so let's say he lives another 66 years to 100, which comes out to about 23,000 nights. This thing comes out to about $17 a night, which is not that bad. We love the gold accents of the main bathroom. As a Persian, we require maximum gold. We also love the flooring. We assume this is all heated, so Drake will never have cold feet in here. At 50,000 square feet, you end up adding a lot of rando rooms to your home, like this trophy room. This jersey LAH. We like that the jerseys are all behind glass, so they probably won't collect dust, and it'll just take a little Windex job to clean these windows. What's up? This is Drake. Hey Drake, I'm Samir, and we are known as the Homies. This home also has a lounge that we love. A home of this size also has endless CZs, chill zones. The most important thing you can do when presented with a CZ is establish your lump spot. I see at least six great options to lump in here. Which one would you take? This is also probably one of the most maximum chill rooms we've ever seen. I'm going to say it, it is the most maximum chill room we've ever seen. We also love the studio lounge. If the regular lounge was maximum chill, then this room is the ultimate vibe vibe. We love the starry ceiling. We love this brown agate stone lighting. And we love how perfect this chair is for an FFL. A forward facing lump. Inside the recording studio, we love the day bed. It's perfect for a horizontal lumping. And we love these pillows. They're made from Louis Vuitton scarves. We love the NBA regulation sized basketball court. Hey. Ah! Nice shot. And we love this lump spot. If you invite me over and you can't find me, chances are I'm blasting music and taking a nap in here. Outside, we love the infinity pool. We love all the chill zones. We love that the roof line is straight across instead of making like 50 gables. The more gables you have, the worse the gutters will be. The architect really knew what they were doing here. And finally, we love that they could have added a bunch of balconies on these flat roofs, but they didn't. This is Toronto, so there isn't really anything you could even see from your rooftop. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate that there's one garage over here and one over here. I don't want to have to think about which way I need to go and park every time I come home. Oh, the Bentley is in the left garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll remember that. As you can see, it's total chaos in this driveway. Seriously, what is this guy doing over here? This isn't a spot. Drake needs his own police department to give this person a ticket. We hate how sharp this entrance chandelier looks. We hate the skulls on this custom Takashi Murakami Dusseldorfer piano. Here's a better view of it. I don't want to have to think about death while playing piano. In the dining room, we hate that there's no head of the table. I'd love to see Drake sitting on the side like this and hosting a meal. And we hate the mirrors above the dining table. A dining room isn't the type of room that I like to watch myself eat in. In the kitchen, we hate the shiny material on the fridge. Fingerprints USA. We hate how not short king friendly these cabinets are. We hate how wide the island is. Look at it, it's literally the size of an island. The only way to clean this is by standing on it with a mop. And who wants to do that? Not me. And we hate that there's barely a 2 BMS in here. I would guess that the average BMS of a certified lover boy's guests are bigger than the normal BMS of a guest, which means we're pretty much just talking about a 1 BMS in here, and that's embarrassing for a 50,000 square foot home. 
Some of the rooms in this home have so much going on that they hurt my brain. Like this staircase. I have no idea what's going on here. How many chandeliers are there? There could be eight or two or three or one, I have no idea. The indoor pool also breaks my brain. Is that a demon on the wall? And the main closet has way too many mirrors and way too many lights. In the main bedroom, we hate that there are more areas to sit. The main bedroom alone is 3,500 square feet, which okay, I get it. You've got to fill this place up with furniture. And we've said before that it's nice when a home's main bedroom has a sitting area, but this home is huge and has many, many sitting areas that you can get away from it all in. So when we finally go to bed in this home, we really need to focus on sleeping. We can't just sit and lounge around. In the main bathroom, we hate this octagon mirror, and we hate how uncomfortable this tub looks. It's like many thousands of pounds and it was chiseled out of a single piece of stone. But what if it wasn't? In the lounge, we hate this chandelier. This has me deep in my Dustville USA feelings. The ceiling in here also hurts my brain. In the studio lounge, we hate this clutter buildup that's developing over here. And we thought some more about it and this daybed is a little bit too cozy for a recording studio. Instead of the daybed, put a rock in here so you can get to business, record an album, and get out. No comfort allowed. In the gym, we wish there was more seating. Like, put some bleachers over here so you can have a crowd. And finally, we hate that they used fake grass in the backyard. This home ranked a coveted 5 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show, where we take a deeper dive into the stats. Thank you to homie IBM FFX for telling me to do this home. It's been on my radar for many, many months now, and I've been kind of lazy to do it because there weren't a lot of pictures, but this was the time. I really like this home. Gave this a five home because it has pretty much everything. The designer, Ferris, is like the best designer in the world, and they really just use the best materials to make this home. Drake talks about how he wanted this home to last for 100 years, and it will. I'm sure it'll be a museum or something when he's done with it. Everything here is made from Primo stuff. And I'm a sucker for stone floors and plaster walls, and especially exotic woods. I wouldn't hate if the land were a little bit bigger, like 10 acres. I'm not sure how big this was, but it's not multiple acres. It's probably like max two acres. But that's okay because the inside makes up for that. I've seen estimates of 100 to 150 million for this house, so I just gave it a little bit lower estimate of 100 to be safe. This place has been called the Embassy. Some people call it a hotel or a Las Vegas casino. It's funny that there was a lot of news about Kanye tweeting out his address because I'm pretty sure everybody in Toronto knows where Drake's home is. It's not a secret. And I just want to give a special thank you to Architectural Digest for all these photos. What did you all rank this home and what did you love and hate about it? Let us know in the comments as always. See you all next episode. Super special thank you, as always, to our Patreon supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a winner and have a $5 iced coffee every day, so thank you. An extra special thank you to our Patreon Plus producers. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, CJ, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Henry, Gretchen, Julie, Bhargav, Ellen, and Emmy. Thank you. And this time we're going to shout out all of our F supporters. So let's see if we have any F names. Um... No F, so let's go to G. Gina Robinson and Guinevere McMichael. And that looks like it. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, you're still here? Picture this. You see Drake at the club and he invites you over to his place. And he brings you into the studio lounge. Marvin's room is playing in the background. He says to you, hey, I noticed your BMS at the club. And you say back to him, would love to check out your red knob but you don't really know how plumbing works because you've never seen it. And he asks you if you want to be his sauce closet. And you say okay, as long as he doesn't do anything that's deranged, unhinged, or breaks your brain. So you two lump together forever for the rest of your lives.